So hey guys, what is up? It is Ray's back to YouTube video and in today's video, what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to lower your input delay, fix any kind of latency issues that you're having currently. And this video will help you to fix all of those issues that you're currently having in Valorant that are related to performance, input delay, and stuttering. So I hope you guys like these kinds of videos. And if you want more, just comment down below what you want next. Subscribe to the channel and let's just get straight into the video now. All right, guys, so we're back in the video. So first of all, what you have to do is scroll over to your settings and then go over to the video tab and then you'll be on this page. So first of all, what you have to do is make sure on display mode, make sure it is full screen. Once you do that, what you have to do is find NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Make sure this is on on plus boost for the lowest input delay possible. And also what you can do is uncap your FPS because the higher FPS you have, the less input delay you get. So once you do that, make sure to go to graphics quality and then make sure multi-threaded rendering is turned on. Make sure all of these are set to low. Make sure anti-aliasing is on none. And this is make sure this is on 1x. And then turn off all these settings for the best performance and the least input delay possible. All right, guys. So once you optimize your game settings, what you have to do is optimize some Windows settings. So first of all, what you have to do is go to the search bar, type control panel, and you'll be on this page. Now, what you have to do is just search up system and then go over to view advanced system settings and once you're here just go over to performance go over to settings all right guys so once you're here what you have to do is just set it to adjust for best performance now once you do this your windows will look a little bit worse there will be less animations and stuff but it will give you better fps and less input delay so you can do that or you can copy my settings and keep the balance between your windows looking good and the game feeling smoother as well so once you do that just press ok press ok and you'll be good to go now what you have to do is go into the search bar again type in game mode and then press enter and then make sure game mode is turned on and once you make sure that is turned on what you have to do is go over to related settings go over to graphics settings make sure this acceleration is turned on now go over to choose an app to set preference and then press on browse and then find valorant wherever you installed it and then press on valorant.exe and then this will come up now just press options and make sure it is on high performance now once you do that go back to to your windows settings and then go over to xbox game bar and then make sure xbox game bar is turned off now what you have to do is just search up background apps go over to it and make sure this is turned off once you turn it off you will be good to go for windows settings all right guys so now we're going to be updating our gpu drivers to make sure we're on the latest drivers so that we can get the maximum performance possible and i know some of the older graphics drivers will give you more fps sometimes but but i just want to keep this video simple so i'm not going to be going over that but if you want a tutorial on that please comment down below so if you have nvidia gpu i'm going to show you guys how to update your drivers if you don't you can just search on youtube how to install or update your drivers for amd and stuff but yeah so what you have to do first of all is download GeForce Experience and then open it. So make sure you've downloaded it. I have already downloaded it. So I'm just going to open it. But yeah, wait for this to open and you can update your graphics drivers. So once it opens up, what you have to do is just go over to drivers. Just search for the current driver. It will show you the latest one and then just press on download and then it will start downloading. Once it finishes downloading, it will ask you to install it. So what you can do is just install it and you'll have the latest NVIDIA drivers. So now that you have installed the latest NVIDIA drivers, what you have to do is just go over to your desktop and then just right click and go over to NVIDIA control panel. So once you're here, what you have to do is just go over to adjust image settings with preview. And then go over to use my preference and then make sure this is on performance press apply and you'll be good to go all right guys so once you're done with that what you have to do is just go over to your search bar and type in ms config now what you have to do is just go over to boot go to advanced options and then press on number of processors and set it to the maximum value you have for me it is 12 for you it might be 8 it might be 16 it might be 4 so just choose the highest amount you have press ok press apply press ok and it will ask you to restart what you can do is just for now exit without restart but you can restart your computer after you watch this video so once you're done with that what you have to do is go over to your task manager go over to startup and now once you're here please sure to disable everything you don't need while you open your computer so once your computer starts all these programs will start automatically and take up the memory and stuff so you don't want that and so just disable everything you don't need please make sure to not disable vanguard train notifications or anything related to valorant because those are anti-cheat software so you will need that to play valorant 
and yeah just find everything you don't need and then turn it off and you'll be good to go with this tweak so now i have a few more tweaks for my viewers and i know a lot of you guys use discord or spotify and they are open sometimes while playing valorant the discord is usually opened up while playing valorant and what's something discord and spotify use is hardware acceleration and the hardware acceleration actually uses your gpu and it just takes up uh, power from your gpu so what do you have to do is just turn those off to make sure that gpu is prioritizing your games so i'm just going to be showing this for discord because um, it will just make the video too long so let's just go over to discord what you have to do is just go over to your settings and then go down to advanced and then make sure hardware acceleration is turned off press on ok and that will restart discord all right guys so for the last week what you have to do is just go over to your search bar type in power option and then go over to edit power plan once you're here, just go over to power options, make sure it's set to ultimate performance or high performance, whatever you have. The ultimate performance and high performance is basically the same thing with different names. So you can just choose. So you can just choose the highest performance plan that you have. So those were all the tweaks and this concludes the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, just make sure to smash that like button and also comment down below what you want next since i don't have any ideas to work on if i get some ideas i will surely make a video on it so yeah just let me know what you want next and i'll see you guys in my next video peace